you know, we all have to have a drink, I think, because it is Friday. <laughs> Let's all have a drink. Let's have a good time. Happy to have everybody here. Mm. We're at 875 subscribers. The numbers keep going up. It's so exciting. I, we can I, do I, it. I can't say much. We can do it. Keep going. We'll reach that thousand. We can hit a thousand. We can hit a thousand by 2024. It can be done. I believe, I believe it. Must, it. Yeah. We can, we can do it, Mike. You know what that would be if we actually reached 1,000 by the end of the year? What would it be, Mike? That would be great. We could do it. It would be some breaking news! Oh, the very first thing I want to dive right into is, well, this just came out before we came live, too. Mime Galg actually was... Well, she's gone from Jeopardy. So if you love seeing her in Jeopardy, she is gone. Now, Ken Jennings has been taking over for season 40. She stepped down season 39 because of all the strikes going down. So she stepped away. She said, I can't do this. I'm supporting my union. And now the word came that she will not be back for any more Jeopardy. And it sucks if you're a fan of hers because honestly, I thought she was pretty good. But then again, they've been trying to figure out this whole Jeopardy thing for a long time. Again, it's hard to replace. Someone's been there for so long, but that's, that's, that's Hollywood. That's how it goes. And hopefully, hopefully hopefully you know they don't regret letting her go because again because of all of the strikes everything happening la now is trying to expedite film production back here because honestly we gotta get people back to work it has to happen so the board came forward and they're like the council they said okay unanimously they said 14 to 0 they said okay let's start pushing everything forward all the permits which is a big thing it takes a long time to get permits here in los angeles so they're pushing those forward making them happen fast so people can get back to work and get productions back moving because they need to happen right now and the time for those to go down usually it's usually weeks but you're gonna be days now because they're telling everybody it's full steam ahead get back to work let's bring things going and honestly i'm excited about it but not all productions will come back because p diddy sean combs himself his production who has been shut down now it doesn't surprise me at all because again we've been talking about p diddy we've been talking about puff daddy whatever you want to call him sean combs and all the allegations going forward for him because that's a lot it's like three or four sexual assault allegations, and he's fighting. And of course, their allegations, we have no idea, but Hulu was pushing a show forward about his life, his family. And James Corden's actual production company was behind the whole thing. You know, this was early stages. It wasn't done, but it's canceled. They're like, we're not going to have it happen. Too many allegations. And they said, we just, we just can't have that on our network. I'm sorry. That's how it goes sometimes. It's unfortunate if he is cleared, but there's a lot of damning evidence. So I'm not really sure if he is. Just like Marilyn Manson right there is also being charged for sexual assault. And this, too, is one of those things that Marilyn Manson... I my my Mike laughs, but Marilyn it's not Manson, funny. But no, like, was, I mean, it's it like about, duh, obviously. Like it was about it was about Kale's comment. <laughs> Our child about growing up with Diddy's like your, you know, he's he's I a high school he staple. A we used well, to Diddy diddled our childhood, open. didn't he? He diddled, he diddled our childhood. That's horrible, XD. But Marilyn Manson, also from our childhood, if you were grew up in you know, in the 90s, but Marilyn Manson's assistant came forward. And now this is a little interesting to me because she is saying that she blacked out this whole situation that went down. She said she blacked it all out. And now in 2020, she came forward. It's like it all kind of came to her. And she remembered the whole thing. But she claims that he put her hand, his hand down her pants. He whipped her. He threw dishes at her. He forced her up against the wall broke doors, chased after her, charged her, and forced her to stay awake for 48 hours straight, and then one time required her to stand on a chair for 12 hours? I don't know. But that all went down. Now, apparently she went through the whole litigation problem and it was thrown out. It was all thrown out. But then she went to an appeals court and the appeals court said there is validation to these causes. They are allowing it to move forward over this delayed discovery. And they're going to let her charges move forward against Marilyn Manson. Now, the case, this went down, you know, May 20, uh, May of 2022. Uh, it failed. And I, I, I hope I hope that if this is real, that we will get some kind of justification for everything and she will get some validation and she will get Marilyn Manson. Manson, I mean, I mean, shut him down. It's, that, it sounds insane. I can't imagine that would happen because it doesn't sound like that was a platonic relationship. But platonic is renewed over at Apple TV Plus, everybody. That's right. If you liked the first season, Seth Rogen's coming back. And, you know, honestly, it was all right. Rose Bryan, is, uh, she's fucking great. She's awesome. She's, she's awesome. He's great. It was a good combination. But overall, like this show, if you watched it, it ended. Like, I don't think I need a second season. But again, for Apple TV Plus, it's one of their best performing comedies. So like, why would you not pick that up? Big names, big numbers, make it happen. So you're gonna get a second season of Platonic 
and I'm, I'm, I'm okay, I'll check it out. I still think we need it. But you know what is a platonic relationship? It is Ryan Reynolds and Sean Levy, and they're moving forward with a new production for Netflix. And there was a big bidding war for this whole production. It was crazy. Like there was like seven or eight production, or production companies and networks fighting for it and went to Netflix, they won. And then Ryan Reynolds was signed on for it. It's a heist movie. They're still not giving much details. And then Sean Levy is coming on board. Of course, he's directing the new Deadpool 3. They've been working on a bunch of projects. They did, uh, They've been on a bunch of projects that a free guy they did before that. And so now they're going to have their duo continue this platonic relationship to make this new movie come forward. And it's in the spirit of Ocean's Eleven, they're saying. It's also set in an international area. Not much details beyond that. There's a big battle that's been happening for the past week in Hollywood. People want to see more Ryan Reynolds on the screen. He's got a bunch of productions happening. It's crazy, but good for him. Making it happen. That's platonic. Uh, they saw, they have a good relationship, I think, but somebody doesn't seem to have a good relationship, everybody, is Jonathan Majors and Grace Jabari because the trial is still happening. The jurors did not decide today. We're going to hopefully find out Monday what's going to happen with Kang the Conqueror. And uh, I mean, we were talking to the show about this last week. I think we, the text messages are damning. The running away thing is weird. It is weird. She says that she chased him for five blocks because she was like, my whole relationship is done. And I flipped out. I just wanted to find out what the hell just happened after the whole well she says the allegations that she got beat up in the car he's saying he didn't do it he says she says six jurors they have to decide and we'll find out on monday hopefully if you know he's gonna go away for a, a year maybe i don't know that, i don't think it's gonna happen but he was charged with third degree intentional assault third degree reckless assault third degree ag aggravated harassment and second degree harassment and i don't think he'll get all, i think he will get some of them and Kang the conqueror we're gonna find out if he'll be back doing it because legalities can screw your whole career up or they can actually make you happy like prince harry who actually just won $180,000 in his court ruling against the mirror because the mirror group he said before they hacked his phone they hacked my phone they took my private information they trailed me they found out what i was doing they took pictures of me they couldn't have found out by me unless they actually hacked my phone and now a jury or judge came forward and said yes they did hack your phone Pierce Morgan knew about it, they said, too, during this whole trial, and he's denying it. Of course, he was working for the Mirror during that time, which was between 2006 and 2011 when this went down. So if it's real, like, maybe there'll be some ramifications for him. It probably won't. He's saying that Harry's trying to burn the whole, you know, the whole uh, honor or, or hierarchy or the whole, um, oligarchy. What's, what's the word, Mike? The whole, um, the whole, the whole freaking... The whole family. He's trying to burn the whole family down, I guess. I've been drinking really <laughs> coffee, everybody. Plut Plut Plutarchy? Oligarchy? Sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm going to say the Plutarchy, Mike. He's going he's gonna to try to burn the whole production down, try to burn down the whole royal family. And honestly, he's been fighting. He lost $62,000 the other day against the Sunday Mail. They said that, you know, those allegations moving forward that he was trying to strip from the court, making them pay their legal force or their legal fees. So he's got to pay that. It might balance out a little bit, make a little bit of money. But if Harry was really hacked, then he should be taken care of, I guess. But if Sabrina were here, she'd probably be like, fuck Harry. But whatever. I think Harry is, a, you know, he's, he's fighting a good fight, fighting against the press. You got to do that sometimes. Hopefully some good omens come his way because good omens is renewed, everybody. Renewed for a third season. Michael Sheen's coming back. And they're going to do one last time. Michael Sheen, David Tennant. And, you know, of course, it's Demon and Angels together at Amazon. It was supposed to be a limited series, but now they're getting renewed for a third and final season. About to start shooting in Scotland very soon, which is great for people that love the show. They'll probably be back before you know it. It'll take a year, at least. Production takes a long time. It always does. Howard doesn't really act like a prince. He doesn't act like a prince, but he's also stripped his whole rights from the family. He's like not involved anymore. He's just doing his own thing with Meghan Markle over in, you know, San Bernardino, California. Moving back to L.A. soon. But, you know, they're just doing their own thing, playing the suits life and, and having a good time i guess but i hope if you're a fan of good omens you're excited because you're getting one last season this was supposed to be a one-off done season and it's demon and angel our team together to save the world from the apocalypse and stanley tucci is also trying to save italy well he's just trying to have a good time in italy i think and his show has been renewed again <laughs> and uh, i love the tooch the tooch is awesome i love it I, if i could rub his bald head i'd do it right now He's awesome. He's a great person. Mm. Fucking fantastic actor. He sells his ass off in every role he does. Now, his Italian <laughs> adventures were canceled at CNN. It's true, Mike. They were canceled at CNN after two seasons, and he actually won. Like, I'm like, how do you how do you cancel a show that wins two Emmys? That's my question. How do you do it? They didn't. But it's just Tucci going on the, the, the country of Italy and just eating food and praising places and having a good time and, you know, just living it up and now he's getting 10 more episodes over at nat geo they picked it up which makes sense to me it's a travel company it makes sense like put him on that geo let him eat some pasta make him sell the fuck out of italy and then you know put it on tv because i'll watch it because i think a lot of people would a lot of people have watched curb your enthusiasm but that's also going away everybody so the last season 
will be season 12 will be the last finally got that notice we talked about before it might be the end it might not but larry david came forward and he said hey it is ending at 12, which is coming out very soon. It's coming out in February 4th, and then it will air 10 episodes, and it will end April 7th. But he actually said, as Curb comes to an end, I will now have the opportunity to finally shred Larry David away and become the person God intended me to be, the thoughtful, kind, caring, considerate human being I was until I was derailed by portraying this malignant character. Yeah, I mean, he, <laughs> it's such, it's, that's such a good joke. That, that quote it's, it's, made me laugh so hard a, when I read the article. It's a good joke. It's a good joke. Like, <laughs> I thought it was funny. Uh, you know what? But if you're a fan of this show, you'll probably not be that happy because he has said he's going to cancel it so many times yeah, or stop doing it so many times. But this is officially the end. So, I mean, honestly, Curb Your Enthusiasm, great show. Sorry to see it go. But Curb Your Enthusiasm for the new Paddington musical that's coming out because I don't know if this will be that good, everybody. Now, people love Paddington. I don't know why they do, but they love Paddington. But the stage musical is moving forward for this production. And it's going to go, of course, going to the UK first, probably come here eventually. And they've been developing for a while. And honestly, like Paddington has been a big hit. They're doing the third one right now. There was a whole rumor that uh, they were going to bring a bunch of big actors into it, but it kind of fell away. But Sony is doing this three equal coming out January 17th, 2025. And then and they're also going to have it come uh, that was going to be in the UK before us. So it's coming out actually November 8th, 2024. So, I mean, a lot, a lot of content for Paddington. So if you love Paddington, it's a good day for you. you get a, you get a movie, third one, you get a musical and it, it's great, but music's always great. And of course we love the Grammys and Trevor Noah is coming back for the Grammys one more time. Of course he's hosted it multiple times in the past, but he's coming back for the 66th annual Grammys. Trevor Noah needs a hosting job ever since he lost the daily show. Or I should say left it, but Good for him. He's in it like oh, how many years now? It's been it's been Mike. It's been a long time. 2021, 2022. Earlier this year, he did it in 2023. Yeah. So good for him. Coming back February 4th, Sunday, February 4th at Crypto.com. You're getting the Grammys with Trevor Noah. So a lot of breaking news, everybody. Yo, player. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and hit the bell to be notified when we are live. And if you are able to join our Patreon, please join. Because the pep star needs more snickety snacks. Because I'm hungry. Holla back. Love y'all.